actually I knew I mean the story of I mean started more than 12 years ago when I was shooting my first film that one was also about music and diasporic music Iranian diasporic music and um, <clears throat> when we traveled to Iran with uh, my uh, one of my musician friends Kia Tabassian uh, who's also uh, based in Montreal and they have um, Constantinople Samuel, I you might know them. Um, we traveled to Iran to kind of find the source of Iranian traditional music, and um, but very soon we you know realized that you really can't find the source. I mean, you can't essentialize a certain kind of music uh, because everything is evolving all the time. And uh, but uh, it was interesting to just uh, see and you know experience and talk to different musicians from different regions of Iran and um, by accident actually I met a friend in my like elementary school friend or classmate um, in my hometown Shiraz uh, in the south of Iran and I found out that um, he's a famous a singer now in that community the community of nomads that I talked to about uh, in I mean as well, um, they're from Turkic uh, origin, and they live in the south center of Iran, around the city of Shiraz. Um, <clears throat> and so he was, you know, a very famous singer of that community, and he introduced me to other masters of that music. And uh, we kind of found this parallel, you know, diasporic parallel of these people who are inside the country, but all their music talks about exile and displacement and uh, kind of longing for home um, and diasporic musicians outside of Iran who are kind of away from home and um, in diaspora. So that was the parallel in the film of uh, showing their music, their art and kind of um, in parallel to the musicians here. Um, I mean, he was one of those musicians that uh, was introduced to me by his friend, and he was actually my first documentary as well. But he was very young; he was like 16 years old, and um, he made a very interesting, uh, I mean, big impression on me. And um, I didn't hear from him for years, and about eight years later, he called me from Kiev, uh, Ukraine, and told me that he's doing his masters and. Um, and about his story and how he wants to preserve this music because he believes that um, uh, all the masters are dying and um, his musical heritage is kind of disappearing and he likes to preserve it and document it as much as he can and uh, so about his family who are also involved in helping this uh, kind of mission of his of preserving the music